Hey guys. Today I made Papa two presents, and I'm and when we're done, I'm gonna make him three. She's making me Christmas presents and wrapping them too. Huh? Yeah. Show the one you wrapped. Look how beautiful that is. Okay. So what are we making today? Um, basil. Well, we're making our all-purpose stuffing, right? And we can, we're going to use this stuffing today for two different things. We're going to use it for our artichokes. And we're going to use it for a pork tenderloin stuffing. So, Talia loves to make what? I like to make brujol. And so, we had brujol last time, I think. And now we're, but that was flat iron steak. Today we're going to do pork tenderloin. Okay? I just like my present. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to put in our all-purpose stuffing is breadcrumbs. Oh, is this mine? Those are yours to eat. Yeah. Oh, she's going to eat it all. Okay. So we're going to make our all-purpose stuffing. We're going to start with our breadcrumbs. Now, our breadcrumbs are all gluten-free, and it's a mixture of some breadcrumbs we got at the uh, at Eden Market. It's really good. Yeah, Italian breadcrumbs. <laughs> and it's also, we got some uh, gluten-free bread. Hey. Booty bread, toasted it and chopped it up, mixed that in too, so we have a really nice consistency. And of course, Dolly likes the cheese over there. Who does? Doggy. Doggy. Where did he learn that? From me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you want to pour in the breadcrumbs? I just want to eat one. <laughs> well, that made a noise. Okay. Good. Papa, I wish I could eat one. Yeah. Now, how about next we put in Talia's favorite ingredient? Cheese. <laughs> cheese. <laughs> Go ahead. And now we have some Parmesan. Parmesan ribs on it. Go ahead. Today we're using Parmesan instead of Pecorino. Wow. Good. All right, mix it up. Okay. Next we have <laughs> our fresh chopped parsley. Papa, I like parsley. Me too. I mean, it has a good sound. Oh, it does? Why? Let's get it all in there. Like, the name is Parsley. I like Parsley. Yeah, I do. Where's your Italian? Now we're going to start with all... We have our chopped black olives. olives. Go ahead. Very good. Get them all in there. <laughs> get them all in there. No, no, those are to eat. Fresh chopped garlic. Mmm, let's show them how much they chopped. Look at all that. It's a dinosaur. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, dinosaur bowl. It's all right. Well, I had so much garlic chopped that I needed a bigger one than the little one we usually use. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. And our last ingredient we have some all purpose organic. Italian spices. Okay? Yeah! Pal, start time. Start putting that in. Just like that. Yeah, just like that. A little bit more. Keep going. Okay. Perfect. That's how we measure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then, so that we can mix it all up. We need some olive oil. First, we'll do a little mix. Get a little mix going first. See that? It's nice. It's really good. Huh? I learned something on my bone. On your what? My um, I got a bruise. Oh, it's a bruise. Okay. Just pour some olive oil. Mm. Okay, I'm not. You're not. <laughs> so my bruise. <laughs> okay, you don't have to put your hands in it. But what we'll do first is we'll start a little bit with a spoon first. I'm going um, to stir it. You want to do it? Yeah. All right, you start stirring. While Talia is stirring, I'm going to show you how to prepare an artichoke. Oh, this looks good. Ah! Looks good. Keep stirring. Keep it I, in the bowl. I really want to eat it. So when you make an artichoke, stuff an artichoke, first thing you do is cut Papa, off the bottom. Can I taste it? Uh, no, not yet. No, not yet. Not yet. 
And then with a really good serrated knife, slice off the top like that. You have to be careful okay? with a knife, guys. Yeah, why? So you don't cut yourself. That's right. And Talia's learning how to use a knife, aren't you, Talia? Yeah, at the restaurant, mm -hmm. I would cut myself. And then we're going to take off all the tips of the leaves that are pointed all the way around. I think I see them all of them. I can't you do? See Is it a nice even look? It makes it a little easier to stuff. And you don't jab yourself because they're pretty pitchy. Right? Yeah. Okay, so we trimmed up all the leaves. There we go. And then this artichoke will be ready to stuff. We're gonna open the leaves up a little bit down here. Okay. Spread them this way. Wow! Easier to get the stuffing in. How's it looking, Cal? Look how it is. Beautiful. Okay, I don't want to mess up the beauty. Yeah. Spread it. Papa, it looks good. It sure does. Wow. Papa, it's it's how are you making me hungry? It's making you hungry because you know why? It smells delicious, doesn't it? Yeah. We wish you guys could smell this because, wow, does it smell good. You guys can't even smell it. You can't, huh? Sit on the tablet. <laughs> well, not a tablet, the yeah. computer. Like iPad, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I think that's pretty good. We're going to let that, we're gonna let that sit in there a little bit, okay? I'm going to put another pinch of olive oil in there. Just a little bit more. Do I need to stir it or pat it? Stir it now. Smart. You're so smart. I know. You have, I know. So now, when we prep the artichoke, while Ty is stirring the stuffing, it, looks, it still already looks good. It still looks good, yeah. Best thing to do when you're, when you're prepping the artichoke before you stuff it is to get a little bit of either lemon or lime juice uh, and squirt it over the top because it acts it'll act as an antioxidant and prevent the artichoke top from turning brown and the inside leaves and it'll also give it a nice base and then on top of that lime juice we're going to put a little salt and pepper. So a little Himalayan pink salt. But there's anyone like this? A little pepper. Do anyone like this pepper? Look at that, it's beautiful. Mm. Okay. Now this oh, artichoke is I ready really to stop. I don't want to mess it up. You did, you did great. Yeah. Papa. Yeah. So now let's stuff this artichoke, okay? Cut it? No, we already cut it. No, we use the chopped olives in here. Those are for eating. Okay. Okay, now. What? Since you have a lemon, um, for a little present here, you can have an olive oil. Really? Some stuffing down in the middle of that artichoke. Start to get some in the leaves. I don't want to. Oh, I know you don't. Wait, I can use this hand. Oh, yeah? And normally, what we do is <laughs> we let Talia's mommy, Dana, <laughs> usually do, do all of the, the stuffing. Of the actual artichokes because she's, uh, she's uh, good uh, at it. it okay, put it in there. That's a lot. Okay, we'll spread it right now. That's it. Okay, good. And she likes to get them down in all the different leaves. Papa, where's my um? Me, I just like stuffing most Papa, of the middle. Papa, where's my thing? You can use mine. Go ahead. You can use my muffin. Mm -hmm. Well, if I use mine, then it's 
then we can have our own. Yeah. So, how about you go get mine? <laughs> See, I told you I lost control of the show. Okay, let me go get yours. Because yours is only for your hand. There you go. Yay! <laughs> there. Now we have a beautiful stuffed artichoke. And of course, Dana, when she gets her hands on it, she'll stuff a few more leaves. But we wanted to give you the general idea on how it works. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the rest of the show over to Talia's house. We're going to stuff the pork tenderloin over there and the rest of the artichokes. And then we'll show you the finished product. I might have two. I'm going to make two for me. You're going to make two for you? Two artichokes? No, two presents for me and two presents for me, but three for you. Three for me. Okay, good. Yeah, since you have um, two, I'm going to make you one more. Okay. And then I'll make me two, and you'll get two. Okay, well, we're going to go make presents, and then we'll take the rest of the food over to Talia's house and finish and show you the finished product. Well, let's say bye for now. Okay. Let's say ciao. <laughs> you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, I'm taking all of them. You want your chocolate milk? Take little cheers. Here you go. Organic chocolate milk. Yeah. Okay, so we'll say ciao. See you next time. Oh, we'll see you later over at Talia's house, okay? And here we have our stuffed pork tenderloins. Now this is using the stuffing that we made earlier in the same stuffing that we used in the artichokes. So we're going to cook them in the superwave oven and we'll show you the finished product. Finished product today, we have gnocchi, we have stuffed pork tenderloin. Does that look amazing? Same stuffing as our amazing artichokes. Mmm, a nice green salad. And our rotini marinara. So there it is. Bon appetito. Everybody say ciao. Ciao.